Welcome, addicts. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at Christian McCaffrey, running back for the Carolina Panthers, and giving you a updated outlook on what we could expect to see from him in 2020 for fantasy, assuming there is football, that is. Uh, but hit that subscribe button for more content like this one, and let's get right into the video. You don't need me to tell you that Christian McCaffrey was an absolute monster last year. 287 carries, 1,300 rushing yards, and 116 receptions for 1,005 receiving yards coming in as the only the third running back in history to hit 1,000 rushing and receiving yards in the same season and tying the league lead for touchdowns among running backs with 19 total touchdowns. Absolutely dominant. The second best fantasy running back score of all time just behind LaDainian Tomlinson's 2006 season finishing with 29.5 fantasy points per game. If you didn't take Christian McCaffrey in the first round last year, you took someone over him, you don't need me to continue to rub salt in the wound. I was going to say something mean, but we know now, don't make that mistake. Should there be some room to argue that maybe Saquon Barkley would be the 101 this year? For sure. Saquon Barkley obviously had a uh, drop in his efficiency last year with the high ankle sprain that he sustained. The upgrades to the offensive line that the Giants made this year will give him the ability to push Christian McCaffrey for the 101. But that being said, I'm not going to make that argument. This should tell the whole story. With the exception of the Week 2 game against Tampa Bay where he put up 7.3 fantasy points. He finished as at least a running back two or better every week, but only one week did he finish as a running back two. So 14 games, he finished as a running back one. And of those 14 games, 12 of them, he finished in the top six. He had two games north of 40. He had six games north of 30 fantasy points. I mean, it's basically like a cheat code having Christian McCaffrey in your lineup because he is a running back and a receiver all at once. I mean, just based on his rushing numbers alone, he would have been a running back one, but then you look over it and multiple games where he finishes North of 10 targets, just absolute insane efficiency and volume, just all the volume you'd ever want from a running back. The only thing that you can really say about Christian McCaffrey heading into 2020 is at some point the wheels have to fall off the bus right I mean the guy is a beast he hasn't really had any main injury concerns over the course of his career so that is really just a speculative thing and it's just clickbait at this point so I'm not going to make any argument over taking anyone over Christian McCaffrey. He should be the clear 101 in all formats, even super flex. Doesn't matter to me. Christian McCaffrey is such an advantage at the position. And even if he only finishes with 80% of what he did in 2019, he's still going to come out clearly as the running back one, as we'll get into in a second. Last year, he finished with a 91.5% opportunity share, which is number one at the position. And the Panthers follow up by adding no competition in the backfield for him. So why would he not get anywhere near that again? He finished with 5.9 yards per touch, which was six most at the position and 87 evaded tackles. Again, a lot of that to do with volume because his juke rate was actually a little bit lower, 21.6%. 34th but didn't matter again insane volume finished with a 45.8 percent dominator rating which was number two among qualified running backs and 415 yards created which is number 12 he finished he did this all with the second well i shouldn't say second worst because it's among running backs but a negative 7.27 game script which was 31st among running backs Game script doesn't matter for a guy like Christian McCaffrey because he's a receiver. So playing on a team that we're expecting to have a terrible game script again with the lack of a solid defense there in Carolina should bode the, for a very similar touch count for Christian McCaffrey in 2020. I mean, there's not really any logical argument against it other than just saying, well, there hasn't been a running back to repeat as a running back one since 2002. 
when we haven't seen a running back like Christian McCaffrey in a long time. And I'm not going to bet against him. So that being said, with the projections we have for him, this is us trying to put him at his floor. 1,193 rushing yards, 97 receptions, 815 receiving yards, and 15 total touchdowns. Like, that is pretty close to what we were saying before, like an 80% drop, or sorry, a 20% drop down to 80% of what he did in 2019. That would still put him at 385 fantasy points, which would be clear and away ahead of every other player, especially at the running back spot, but just in general. But considering this is what we consider his floor outside of injury, how can you even place any value on his upside when he was able to put up 470 fantasy points in a single season? Like if he even if he breaches 400, he's the number one overall pick, period. But if his floor is almost hitting 400, like I, I'm done. Like I, you don't need me to tell you to draft Christian McCaffrey. If if you need if you need me to make that argument for you, then just find a different game to play. Christian McCaffrey is the 101. Take him with confidence at the number one spot and pray that he doesn't get hurt because as long as he's on the field he's going to continue breaking fantasy football and making commissioners have to think about making rules about having a guy like christian mccaffrey because it's just unfair uh for anyone that doesn't get a chance to draft him so that is my take let me know what you guys think in the comment section below hit that subscribe button for more videos and we'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.